Hey guys, Shakai Eleven here, and I'm back with a um, video on a more serious note. Um, I don't know if most of you guys know, but I'm a native New Yorker, and um, we've been pre hit pretty hard by Sandy. Um, I thank God that I have shelter. I thank God that I have my life. I thank God that my family's fine. Um, but there are a lot of people who lost their homes. There are a lot of people who lost their businesses. There are a lot of people who lost their lives. The death toll right now is about mid-40s, and that's the people we know about. Um, the National Guard's out here. Of course, the Red Cross, they always are out here, and we're thankful for that. Um, I don't know, man. You just can't take life for granted. Um, I just keep watching the news all day, and it's kind of depressing. I had to just, like, get out for a minute because... Although I want to know what's going on in my community, it's sad. It's, it's really sad. They keep talking on different channels about a 24-year-old lady who um, lost her life. She was, sorry, her, she lost her children. Um, she was trying to get her, two, she had a 2-year-old and a 4-year-old in her hand. She had just talked to, talked to her husband. He must have told her to try to get to dry land, try to find something you can hold on to until somebody's able to rescue you. And I don't know if that was before the storm, in the midst of the storm, but the water came and it wiped her kids away. And that's like, yeah, I can't even imagine that. Like, that's kind of torture. It's like you have to live with knowing that your children died and you had them right there with you. Although it's not her fault, it's just a lot for anybody to go through. Um, also, there's a young lady who is a vlogger here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. If you are or if you're not, stop by her channel. Send your condolences. I'm hoping that the family will be able to see the comments and see that she was loved and see that she was appreciated. Her name is Lauren Nicole M-U-A That's L-A-U-R-E-N Nicole N-I-C-O-L-E M-U-A and she's a 23 year old female and she's from Queens and she lost her life to Sandy um she apparently was coming out of her house I don't know the details I read the article and either she was trying to I don't know if she was trying to help I don't know if she was trying to get away from the water I don't know the point is she lost her life she must have stepped in a puddle there was a live wire in there and this girl was electrocuted to death like, she lost her life at 23 years old, and that's a tragedy, because that could have been anybody. I mean, it's just sad. Um, I'm asking people to donate, if you can, to the Red Cross. They are here. They always are. They're always, whether it's Katrina or, 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 or whatever we're going through, they're always here, and I appreciate them. I donate. I've donated to Katrina. I'm donating to Sandy. And, and, and a lot of us don't have much, and that's understandable, but you can imagine if 50,000 of us, 500 of us donated even $5, $10, that's a substantial amount that will help to shelter some people for a while, that will help to clothe some people for a while, that will help to feed some people for a while. Um, Jersey is horrible, Queens is horrible, mid Lower Manhattan is shut down. Subway systems are shut down. City Island um, is horrible. If you're familiar with the area, parts most of Long Island, Jersey, Upper Westchester, um, Hudson River, Hudson Valley, sorry, in Upper Westchester. Like I said, I'm in Lower Westchester. There's a town, Mount <coughs> Vernon, 10 minutes about 10 minutes for me they have no power no water like it's real like I said um just donate whatever you can if you are in the tri-state area and you have not been affected by this if you cannot donate money that's fine donate your time on um, the Red Cross sorry the National Guard you know the Red Cross will always take volunteers the National Guard is looking for volunteers. They're still out in boats trying to pull, rescue people from their homes. It's like, donate your time. If you can donate one day, if you can donate four or five hours, just try and help in any way that you can. It'll be greatly appreciated. If you're far away, you're not able to help. It's for some 
the reason you're not able to donate, pray for us, please. Um, pray for those who are going through it at this hard time. Um, and I just ask that you keep us in your prayers. And thanks for the support. Bye.